Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisperiPair.com. In this video we'll try and help you find yourself a good mechanic. So stay tuned. DisperiPair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DisperiPair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Now first to define what is a good mechanic. Now uh, being a car technician for numerous years I've been on both the uh, customer side and the car technician side okay. So one giving the service and receiving the service. So I'll sort of uh, share my experience. Now a good mechanic is someone that will properly fix your car and won't charge the hell out of you for doing so. That would be the uh, basic definition. The first thing in finding a good mechanic uh, would be to ask around. Now you have two possibilities of doing this, two most common possibilities for doing this. One is to of course use the almighty internet, uh, which is good here and there. In most cases it will give you good information, uh, definitely worth the try. And there is the possibility of you asking around. If you ask numerous people, like five or six people, what their experiences are, where they maintain their car, ask relatives, friends, neighbors, whatever colleagues at work, I don't know, uh, they will tell you who, at what shop or dealership they drive their car to. As you'll see, through a certain elimination process, you'll get to uh, someone who uh, fixes cars very good. My point here is asking around will give you some valuable information, especially uh, when you're searching for a mechanic in the local area, which is the most common situation. So you've asked around, you've sort of decided uh, what the mechanic, you know, could be. I would advise to pay that mechanic a visit. Why is this good? People may like it or not, but uh, some percentage of your future relationship, if I may call it that way, with your mechanic is within the human relations realm. So uh, when you go pay a visit to that mechanic, if you get lame service, if you can't get any information, if they're rude towards you, then that's usually a bad sign for a future maintaining of the car. Once you see those relations, like with many other things, you can see what may await you. Also, especially if you know your way around technology and everything else, you can see uh, what kind of service is it outdated, do they, do they have the proper equipment. This is especially important if you drive a high-end, more expensive uh, car. If you see that the service is up to date, so to say, then uh, you'll probably have a good service from them. So before you go and do some repair, especially before you do some more expensive repair, pay them a visit and see what's happening. When you've paid uh, a visit to the mechanic's shop and you've decided to repair something, ask for prices. You know, some people, and I've seen this numerous times, see it as a matter of honor or as a, some sort of, you know, it's, it's awkward for them. But uh, one of the first things you should do is to ask for a price list for the job you want to do. For instance, you want to change the timing belt on your car, ask for, pro freely ask for prices, ask for what kind of guarantee you get, ask for, you know, what, uh, how much time it will take and so on. Don't be rude, you know, don't be imposing, but uh, it's your right to know. If you get some sort of rude answer, this is also a red flag that you shouldn't go to that shop. The next thing you should do before you start any kind of repair is to ask for a guarantee. A good mechanic will always guarantee for the work that has been done. If they don't guarantee, they will at least give a good explanation why that is so. Not a lame explanation, not one that is weaseling around, but a good explanation. For instance, I don't give a guarantee because of the parts, for the availability of parts, and so on. If you don't get any kind of guarantee, for instance, on a timing belt replacement, if you don't get guarantee on any kind of work, uh, know that this may be a problem for you in the future because sometimes, you know, for instance, I will mention the timing belt again. If you don't get a guarantee and the timing belt isn't replaced properly, it can damage your engine to the point that you have to either change the engine or do an engine rebuild. If you don't have a guarantee, you're the one that will be paying for all of the damage. 
So one more sign that uh, mechanic is good is that it will give you a good solid guarantee for uh, the work that has been done. If you don't get any kind of guarantee, especially for more important repairs, you should get away from there. Now that you've gone through this, let's say that you like the service, everything is okay. Try to first do a simple kind of replacement, if you can, if it's possible. Go and do an oil change, okay? Or an air filter change, or a cabin filter change, or something like that. These jobs are usually uh, not that costly. They don't last a long time, and you can get a sort of, uh, I like to call it a print preview of the whole procedure that that service offers. If it's lame, if it's expensive, if it's not done in quality, you won't suffer that much damage, hopefully, but you'll get a good picture whether you should stay or should you go. The last thing on this list I would like to talk about is treatment. Now, if you want to find a good mechanic, uh, what I've seen lots of people fall for, and I'll tell you uh, how this goes in most cases, is a, a very good treatment. Uh, you know, you come to the dealership, everybody welcomes you, it's a good treatment, you get a cup of coffee, you get a drink, you get a replacement car, everything, but uh, the repair itself is not good. And you get a hefty bill for that kind of repair. Again, this is not uh, bad-mouthing anybody, okay? But I've seen these things happen. On the other hand, you have more basic mechanics shops, you know, the old school ones, where you don't get that kind of treatment, you know, people may not have time to talk to you, you get very good repairs and for uh, very uh, considerable prices. My point here is that uh, don't rely on the treatment, you know, if you get a good treatment, it doesn't necessarily mean that the uh, repair is good. Also, if you get some sort of uh, a rule treatment, we've talked about that should be avoided. But if you get some sort of strict treatment, uh, if I put it correctly, it does not mean that the repair will be bad. For the end, I must mention this, and this is at least from my own experience. As mentioned, you'll have to go through, probably have to go through some sort of elimination process. Rarely will the first mechanic you encounter be the one you stick with. It does happen, but I think it's at least 50-50 in regards of uh, whether you'll stay with that mechanic or leave for someone else. So through that elimination process, you'll probably uh, have to pay more, lose more time, lose more nerves probably, but uh, be prepared to change a few mechanics until you find the right one. Besides this, I must advise that when you find that proper mechanic, eventually stick with him or her and stick with that garage or dealership. Even if the prices go a bit up, which shops tend to do for various reasons, but if you get a good repair, if you get good treatment, if the repairs are done on time and seriously, then stick with those people. Trust me, uh, a couple of dozen euros or dollars spent with them is less than changing a mechanic and going through that whole elimination process again. So that's it for this time. We hope the video helps you find a good mechanic. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.